だ。Well, yeah, I know. That's why we tend to clip our nails, but we didn't do it. So I guess we're going with file two. I don't mean anything. It could be somebody's the cooking like file. Mine. It could be the couch. It could be a blanket. The cooking. It's yeah. Your claw stuck in something. She yeah. gets pissed off. Like, to be honest, this is just gonna be me blitzing through this. So we're not gonna watch any of the cutscenes. So we're cucking all y'all. Oh shit. Anyway. Yeah, I forgot I don't have talent trot yet. This is just an excuse to sh talk about stuff, really. Because I can blitz through this entire game really fucking quickly. I'm not a speedrunner, but... God, who wants there to be a war in the Ukraine? Yeah. You do, remember? Yeah, I do. I really for do. comedy. I really do. Well, I mean, also the jingling keys. Yeah, you're, you're very evil in that way. Well, they're not evil, but that's something evil about you, I should say. Yeah, I just... It's so boring now. It's so boring. We need some more That was action. the best thing about Trump's presidency. It was never boring. He was always doing something. He would tweet, like, uh, that somebody was an asshole. Yeah. Some world leader. And then mm -hmm. everybody would be like, holy shit, what the fuck is he doing? He's, like, jingling mm -hmm. the keys so I don't get bored. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what happened to the news cycle after Trump's not president. Now they're just talking about nothing. Yeah, it sucks. Everything's normal now. Everything's... I was telling Matt, isn't that... That's never something anybody said. Boring times we live in. Yeah, I know. It's always... Before, it was always exciting times we live in. Yeah. Obviously. Because who wants to live in fucking boring times? Yeah. Oh my god, you fucking killed him. Why'd you do that? Because he, he has the collectible. I have an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us. To increase your energy. Bar. They had to separate that, you see. Yes. It's very, very Pixar, as you see. The graphic quality. I always 4K, 60 FPS. I always loved in Banjo Kazooie the way they use. Yeah, it's pretty brain dead. I like it, I too. Love it. Uh. But yeah, um. Probably be. Most Demo Freedom Foundation guy got really pissed because he was, uh. He basically is the Ramsey Paul position. Yeah. Because, like, Nick Fuentes hates the Kurds. He tries to yeah. not hate them, but he really hates them, which yeah. I think is funny. Uh. Because he tries to not hate them, but he can't help them. Oh, it's the wrong tree. Hold on. I, I can't really blame for that. Like, I really. I. Everything I've learned about gypsies, and I've met a few in real life, they're not good. I kind of feel the same way about them. Okay. But, uh. Uh, well, oh yeah, Mo Freedom Foundation kind of has the opinion that the white nationalist guy, Ramsey Paul, does, even though Mo Freedom is a libtard, where, like, every yeah. ethnic group should have their own ethno state, ideally, but he thinks that, like, it would be nice... I mean, that'd be funny. If I, that'd, that'd be more funny than anything else. But he, if, if, if not impossible. He said the Kurds, uh, it would be nice if they had an ethno state. The problem is that they're, if they get an ethno state, the whole Middle East is going to be thrown into chaos. More so even than when Israel first became a country. Yeah. Uh, but then he got pissed because a bunch of people was like, Yeah, that's the point, though. It'd be exciting. Yeah, it's, uh, I would, I agree with that. Kurdistan means extra comedy, extra entertainment, uh, more fun. The Middle East will be on fire. It means we're doing 100% Let's Play Banjos. One of the few games are probably 100% for the channel. You can't 100% the Middle East unless you get Kurdistan. Yeah, that's that's what well, Russia tried 100 percenting the world what in the while ago, didn't they? They tried 100 percenting like the old world. Yeah, they failed that speed run so bad. 
Oh, they did pretty good. They did better than anything else in that speedrun. Yeah, but it's one, yeah, I guess you're right. It's one of the hardest speedrun categories. No one's got the world record. They speedrun. No one's beaten that record. They, they uh, unlocked all of Siberia in like 200 yeah. years. It's pretty impressive. They got yeah. all the achievements too. Yeah. Like, shart on uh, Mexico's balls. No, they didn't do that. That's France did that. France did that, like, yeah. France invaded Mexico. Okay. That's one of my favorite achievements. Yeah, which is really weird. It's like something you would see in a Rise of Nations game, but it was, uh, it was real life. I don't know why I thought Mexico. I just thought farting in Mexico, you know? Comedy. I tried to take over Hawaii at one point. Yeah. This was in, like, the 1700s, though. It doesn't matter. Here he is. The game begins. The question is, who's gonna win? Is it you, Gruntilda so or Robot? So, I'm guessing you support Curtis Hand for comedy and entertainment? Bruh, of course I do. This is coming from the person who wants Venezuela to keep suffering forever. Yeah, but I was telling... I remember not not for any boomer reason, like, like oh, they sh communism, they're, they're communism, man. man, so that's why they're fucked. No, it's funny that they have under a dictatorship. That's why it's funny. Well, a dictatorship that ate fast food in front of them while they were all starving. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> why I wanted to keep going that way. It's for comedy. I love that Super Mario runs a country. Super Maduro. Super Maduro world. Hell yeah. Yeah. Somebody should make that. Somebody should make that game and make it. They should make a game in that country, right? He, the, the guy. Fuck. They should make a Super Maduro world and make it like you can't be a citizen of this country or you'll be shot if you don't own a copy of Super Maduro world. Yeah, it's like Mein Kampf in Germany. You have to own one copy. Of yeah, one. exactly. Or a uh, or Pravda in Soviet Union. Yeah, yeah. So all these yeah. broke ass people in this country just like put well, money for this. That's even a weirder Sixty dollar video game. That, to be fair, that's an even weirder one because that was like that newspaper yeah. in the Soviet Union that was their propaganda. Yeah. Communist thing, yeah. That you would have to like have this if you didn't order the subscription yeah. for it, which you didn't have to pay for anyway, they might throw you to Gulag. So yeah, you had, it's you had to order this newspaper. You have to have money. Well, no, they give it to you for free. It was state subsidized. Oh, okay, well, then, that, that's just weird. Then <laughs> Pravda made truth in Russian, but it was a bullshit. Hold on. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I want Curtis in. I, I'll be fair, I used to be, I used to think the Kurds were a lot cooler yeah. than they actually are. They're not. I'm, they're not. They're just as bad as anybody else in the Middle East. Uh, including the army. I used to think the Armenians were cool too, but... I remember you talking good shit about the Kurds a while ago. Yeah, I used to say good things about the Armenians too, that's also wrong. Uh, they, they, they didn't deserve to be genocided, though. I didn't say they did. No, no, I just wanted to bring up. Shane. I don't think the Kurds. I wanted to bring up the fact that like 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 oh, yeah, people Shane. deny that. Yeah. I don't funny. think the Kurds deserve to be killed by Saddam either. But you know, it's, those two things can be true at the same time. Like, I mean, you know, walk and shoot bubble. I mean, I granted, maybe the genocide is a good thing that happened because then we get memes about Chang. That's true. So maybe the maybe it was meant to be the whole time. The Armenians basically started that war with the Azerbaijan yeah. thing. Even though the boomers took the Armenian side. Cause they're like, Burr, where are the old it's, it's, it's like a chicken and egg thing, though. What came first? Chank bitching about the fact that Armenian genocide didn't happen? Or, like, did the Armenian genocide happen? That's the real question. I don't know. But uh, my point is, both of those people You suck. ignored that retarded question. I, I agree you. with him, though. Okay. Both of those people suck, but uh, it be well, Armenia already has an ethnic state, so we yeah. don't need that. It's already real. Yep. Uh, we, a funny about Armenia is it sucks so hard that most Armenians live outside of Armenia. Yeah. Which is funny to me. It's comedy. Comedy yeah. gold. The boomers are like, Armenia is only one of the only Christian states in the Middle East. Like, yeah, if it's so fucking great, why do why they none of them live there? There's Armenians in fucking India, for Christ's sake. I don't know why. I'm good at this game, but this one jump always There's makes me There's been an Armenian community good. in India for, for like, real. over 2,000 years. I'll never nail that jump. Never. Fucking boomers. I don't know what they're talking about. No, boomers just play games like Banjo-Kazooie. What are you talking about? Okay. The, well, well, where are these people past the age of 60? Oh, so who, got... who Who are these people who are 60-plus anyway? He got really offended that people were saying Kurdistan would be fun because it would be exciting if the Middle East was on fire for real this time. Yeah. And he's like, people's lives would be ruined, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, but we're bored. This is boring. We're bored. We want, we want jingling keys more than anything in the universe. Jingling keys are always good. Yeah, that's one thing Nick Fuentes was definitely right about, was he always bitched when stuff was boring, which is the right attitude. I and, agree. Yeah. 
Remember me and Matt, Matt joked about that, like, at the time Napoleon was taking over Europe? I'm so bored of talking about this Napoleon guy. This Napoleon guy, we've been talking about him for, like, two months. It's it's old news. And then uh, another one was, like, Aliens Land to today. I know Lord Glipglop's trying to conquer the Earth, but it's so boring now. <laughs> I'll come back here once I have uh, anyway. That was three jiggy. It's just from one retarded uh, ape. His name's Conga, by the way. Totally not a reference. But that makes it funny. Well, the boomers still think that we're in some, like, struggle between capitalism and communism. We're not really. No, all this is just some Antifa retards. There's a handful of them. I, I think, like, there's a very few mad people who care about communism as a legitimate form of government. All the, uh, the, most of the, like, China's not even communist anymore. It's like a state capitalist country. Um, I told it to my dad. He's like, no, they're communists. So I don't care. They're officially communists. That's what they call themselves. They're not really communists. If they were, if they were actual communists, we'd be kicking their ass a lot harder than you know, this is currently happening. Fucking commies! Because China is actually competing with the U.S., which the Soviet Union was never able to do. No, they they get, they get the talent chart yet? No, because they were an actual communist country, so they couldn't compete with the United yep. States. Sam High World Peace is a good show. Yeah, we, they can't. I can't believe adults can cancel. World a million dollar man's even. Sorry, million dollar extreme. No, that's the right show. That's yeah. even better. Yeah, it is. Uh, but it's unfortunately not in the public eye. So. Yeah. You missed one. Oh, you got it. I, I, I know what I. I, I have eyes. Well, speaking of the Kurds, I know Boomers. A lot of the Kurds are like. Yeah. Are like Marxists, because like the Peshmerga is like this nationalist group, the one in Iraq, but like the ones in Syria and uh, uh, Turkey, the Kurds there are basically communists. Yep. Um, and they always say, like, that's their communist, communist still exist. Like, yeah, there are some real communists, like the Kurds in those countries, and um, uh, what's that one? Uh, oh, that communist group in India. It's like the big, still the biggest terrorist group yeah. in the world, but they just only attack stuff in India. Uh, they're out there, but like real communist countries are gone. All these places that say we're home, all these people in the U.S. That say we're homos, we're Marxists. It's not; those aren't real communists. Most of the Antifa, <laughs> most of the Antifa people are not real communists. They bitch that Trump's against free trade, and they should be against free trade. Yeah. Um, it's just a couple of these, like, third world countries, there's actual, some actual communists, it's about it. So what are they then? Are they like, more socialists, I guess? Oh, in the third world countries? No, like, like, anybody. Like, oh, they're like, uh, they're like, they're like, almost like hipster capitalists. I'm not even kidding, because they're like these pro-union people. They think they're anti-capitalist, but they basically, almost all the time, support whatever Amazon's doing. Yeah, you're right, actually, it's kind of fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, the, this is what we live in. But the boomers will tell you that this is still an epic struggle, even though... It's a... even, even if hypothetically they are, but the time they, 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 they get whatever policy they want, it's not gonna, you know, it will just fizzle out like communism always does, right? Yeah, um, even though that's not... It's like... Yeah, even though they just support all the big corporations, and they say they don't, they do. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. like Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon, the most franchise ever. Yeah, it's just, just pretty, yeah, it's like, name a boomer that likes Pokemon, and then all these people who they think, oh, our millennials are just fucking communists or whatever. Uh, like, like, like they explain why Pokemon's so successful, because I don't see any boomers playing that dumb shit. Yeah, that's true. That's something that they do do better than Gen us. Xers playing Pokemon. You have? Dad? Not Owen. Never, never Owen. He is a god tier gamer. Yeah. Owen only supports games with their multiplayer. He said so. It's really weird, but okay. I don't know why, but that's what he said. I mean, like, it's a weird statement. It would be one thing if he said, I only like multiplayer games, so that's the one I buy, but I only support? Yeah, he only supports them. That's, that's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Dude, it's Mumbo! He's just got token. He's got tokens. Yeah, I don't have enough. Shut up. I know. 
God, this is so much better than DK64. Uh, I'd say Tui's better as well. Tui's my favorite, but... Uh, yeah, DK64 is a hot pile of shit. We're probably gonna play it for the channel at some point, to be honest. <laughs> not the whole thing, though. I could do this the whole thing, but not never DK64. Wait, did you start from the beginning? Yeah. Because you're just zipping. Yeah, I, I know this game by the by back of my hand. The back of your penis. Yeah, this is the first level, though, so I don't know why you said you're zipping. Because you're zipping. You're going really fast. Yeah, it's, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a professional Banjo-Kazooie speedrun Jules Conroy, but... That, is he the best? He's not the best, but he's the one I watch because he memes a lot. Someone's poisoned the dick hole. Really brings a new meaning to Woody. <laughs> hey, Woody. Did you know your name means dick? It means a big erect penis. That's what your name means, Woody. He, he, I don't even think he's close to the best. I think he's in the top 100 of speedrunners for this game. That's pretty good, though, I guess. What do you think of Megster? What? What do you think of Megster? Uh, it's totally not a pyramid scheme. It's totally not a scam. Even though know that guy, whatever country he's <laughs> from, is called the King of Pyramids there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's legit, it's legit business. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, they, uh... Well, I think he brings up in that video that a lot of the people apparently are, like, richer people that don't care where their money's going. So they can afford to put money in this stupid <laughs> shit. So I guess that's fine. And if they're gonna be stupid enough to spend all their money on that anyway, they deserve that. They do deserve, they do be deserving that. Because that's what the Penguins guy said. He said that some people actually should be scammed. Like, they didn't just... Yeah, no, no, I agree. If, you, if yeah. you're dumb enough to fall for it, that you deserve it. Absolutely. Like, it's that's, that's, that, that's the cause and effect. That's, yeah. that's my opinion. Yeah, I don't... I think scams should be legal because some of them are so obvious that, you know, it's... It, it almost is like evolution, like the, the people that it's it's, it's uh well, what's that fucking theory? Social Darwinism. It's, yeah, social Darwinism, but with like money. Yeah. And identity and everything. Yeah. Anyway. Do, 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 do. One thing about evolo evolution that I know is it happens overnight. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, that's how Doesn't... it works. It's like Peter when he. Uh, when the Jewish guy said Jew, you can convert to Judaism, but it doesn't happen overnight. You're, oh, so you're saying it happens overnight? <laughs> my name's Stu Griffin, and this is Jackass. <laughs> I'm kicking my dad's ass yeah. all day. Ow, ow, Stewie, what the hell? Stewie, what the hell are you doing? Peter would... Do you think Peter would be the guy who falls for the mixture? Or do you think yeah. he would be the guy who starts the mixture? No, he'd be the guy who falls for it. Who had started in the show. Depending then. on the episode, actually. Yeah, okay, the, in, in this hypothetical episode, who would be the one uh, starting it? probably the... start it and then fall, become scammed by it anyway. Yeah, you're right. That, that's probably the, the optimal fun comedy outcome for the show. Thank you, Mr. Peter Schmidt. <laughs> Mr. Peter Schmidt. It would probably not be anything more than a cutaway, to be honest. Remember the time I fell for my own scam? Alright. I, I'm actually pretty excited for Nintendo E3 now. Why? Because the Microsoft one was good and it washed the shit taste of Ubisoft out of my mouth. I was excited for it because, um, Smash, that's really the only thing. I don't. Or Donkey Kong! D yeah, and DK, but I'm, I'm having doubts that they'll show it, you know? Fair enough. I'm very. Very scared Ooh, that there will be nothing. What about the Switch Pro? What about the Switch Pro? Did you forget about that? I'm not getting a Switch Pro. I'm not either, but did you forget about the rumors? No, because everyone fucking talks about it. 